What's going on YouTube? Wade here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to put your iPhone, your iPod Touch, and your iPad in and out of DFE mode so you can jailbreak or do a hard restore in iTunes. Now, I'm probably going to get tons of people asking me, why are you making this video? I mean, this is so simple to do. How can anyone have problems with it? You're asking the wrong person, honestly. I'm just making this video because it seems that some people need a little bit more help than others. So that's why I'm making this video. So please just sit back and watch and enjoy. Now the first thing that you're going to need when you put your device into DFU mode is this. This is the 32 pin USB cord. You can find these at your local Apple stores, Walmart, anywhere that sells the iPhones, the iPod touches, the iPad, stuff like that. What you're going to need to do first is plug this into your computer by USB, okay? Just make sure there is power going to it, all right? That's the main key. What you're going to do next is kind of difficult, but then you plug it into your device, okay? I know this is kind of hard, but just relax. Just make sure that it's in there all the way. That's what she said. Um, anyway, make sure there is power going to your device. After that, what we're going to do is start the process of putting our device in a DFU mode. Okay, now if you guys don't know, this is the iPhone. This is made by Apple in California. It's a very nice device. There's the Apple logo. Very, very sexy device. I'm sporting the OtterBox Defender case. I gotta say, it's a pretty nice one. But anyway, that's off subject. Let's get back to the iPhone DFU stuff. Um, anyway, we're going to hold down on the power button and the home button for at least seven seconds, okay? If you count slowly, your device screen will turn black after seven seconds, okay? Then you're going to release the power button right here after eight seconds, and then you're going to hold down on the home button for the rest of the time, okay? If you're getting confused, don't worry. I'm going to do this step by step for you guys because I would never, ever leave you in the dark. That would be horrible. But anyway, let's get back to business. Let's, I'm going to go ahead and go through the steps one time first and then we'll let you try okay so just wait for me okay because I do not want to get ahead of you are you ready here we go one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven eight nine ten there now our device should be in DFE mode. If you want to test and make sure it's in DFE mode or not, you can try turning on your device using the power button. If the Apple logo does not show up, that means that you are in DFE mode. Another way to test this, iTunes should pop up saying, like your device is in recovery mode, you're going to have to restore it. Just press cancel and stuff like that. And Well, unless you want to restore it. Um, that's pretty much it. And your device is actually in DFU mode. It's that simple. I cannot explain it any more than that. Now to get your device out of DFU mode, this is going to require a little bit more thought. So hopefully you do have some to spare. Alright, so what we're going to do is, do like, like before, we're going to press the power button and the home button for like 7 seconds. Um, after that, we're going to keep holding down on the power button. We're going to release the... Uh, the home button and then keep holding down on the power button okay until the Apple logo shows up on our screen trust me you will know when it's out of DFU alright here we go one two three four five six seven one two there we go we're out of DFU mode just let it boot up and you will be all set guys and there we go we are booted back up out of DFU mode. I hope you liked this video and I really hope it was easy for you to follow. If it was, please give me a thumbs up down there below. And if you can, don't forget to subscribe if you can find the subscribe button. Have a wonderful day.